All right, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise down and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. All right, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, those are the true names that we must worship in order to be delivered. We must believe in their words wholeheartedly. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls. Jesus Christ, Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Okay. We must believe in their word wholeheartedly in order to overcome the wiles of Satan. All right. And um, Lord willing, I want to name this lesson Genesis 3 all over again. Okay. And um, there's a scripture. I don't know exactly where it's at, but it says something to the extent of how the Lord's judgment is like a circle. All right. And it, basically how it comes back around, you know, and um, the Lord is going to judge. The Lord is playing the same scenario out to this very day. All right. To where the Lord gives you specific instructions. And Satan. All right. Will try to entice you to go against those instructions. And um, what I'm talking about here in this lesson is the RFID chip. The Lord said, all right, don't, you know, insert anything into your body. The Lord said, um, and was that Leviticus 19? He said that the scriptures even explicitly said that if any man take the mark, all right, the most I will burn him in the presence of those angels and of the lamb, which is Yahweh shot. Okay, so um, this is Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. Now the serpent is more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord power had made. All right, and um, you know, the beast, which is actually talking about a man. All right. Um, the field, well, you know what? Let me just grab it. Because you have certain times in the scriptures where, which as, as I read through you, you know, through the spirit, you'll, you'll start, you'll start to see that it was actually talking about a man, but, um, you have times where men are, are known as beasts. All right. Psalms 49 and 20. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perisheth. Okay. And um, hey, to this very day, we we dealing with a beast man. Because what? He he don't understand the ways of the Heavenly Father. Ecclesiastes 3 and 18. I said in my heart concerning the state of the sons of men, that God might manifest them. And that they might see that they themselves are beasts. All right. Because beasts are lawless. And, um, you know, just like, uh, you know, the sons of men, these other nations, especially the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Okay. And the field, when you go to Matthew 13 and... The Spirit's telling me to go to 31. Should I hold that? Okay. Matthews 13 and... Do, 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 do. I just look it off for time sick. Matthew 13 and 38. The field is the world. All right. That's the point I just want to make. The field is the world. Okay. So now we go back to Genesis 3. We get understanding. You know, because the scriptures is very allegorical. That has many um 
that the scriptures even say you're supposed to actually read the pre read the Bible precept upon precept. And you can't actually read it like a story. You know? So uh, reading on. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman, hey, see? He saw uh, Satan's working in gray areas. You know, that's what he does to this very day. You know, but God said you can't take the mark if it's, if it's uh, you know, in your forehead or, or your left arm. You know, what if you put it in your toe? You know, what if you put it in your butt cheek? You know, this, this is the way this devil works. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And um, through the Spirit, as I'm reading it, I'm thinking of, as the scriptures say, don't even, you got to nip Satan in the bud right then and there. You know, here it is. You got the woman, um, Eve, you know. You had the woman Eve that was, you know, basically placating to to uh, what he had to say, you know. But the scriptures even say in Proverbs four, Proverbs four and thirteen. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. So you're not even supposed to be fraternizing with this wick uh, you know, a wicked doctrine that's that goes against um the spirit of the Lord. Alright, the words of the Heavenly Father. You're not even supposed to be entertaining it. All right. So let me see. For God doth. And the serpent said unto the woman. Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know. That in the day ye eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be opened. And ye shall be as gods. Knowing good and evil. You know. So here it is. That you know Satan tells you. They're good. But he never tells you the bad. All right. He'll actually lie and say, you know, you're not you should not surely die. The most high just don't want you to know good and evil. You know, so here it is with the chip. All right. Damn, I forgot my train of thought. Damn. Let me see. I'm, I'm gonna try to read it again, a little willing to come back. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. You know, so with the chip, you know, Esau, as it says in Revelations, what was that, Revelations 13? This devil's going to push it. Through what? Miracles. All right? He's going to feed you the good that can that comes from the chip. But never the bad. Alright. He don't tell you how it could track you. You know. He actually pushes that off as, as, as conspiracy theory. You know. Here it is. He gives you a nice phone. Alright. Has great camera. It has a great camera. You know. But he doesn't tell you all the other extra nonsense he puts in the phone. Alright. 24-7 uh, microphone to hear what you're, what you're doing. Who you're speaking to. Your conversation. Okay, so this is Revelations 13 and 14. And deceive of them that the well on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that the well on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had wound by sword and did live. You know, so he's based in this instant, just like before. All right, here it is, Satan, so-called white man. 
Is that it? He, you know, as the scriptures say, he is as the sin. He is as the sin of his youth. You know, in the book of Jude. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, so he's going to be on the same nonsense. You know, he's going to feed you. Uh, he's going to feed you with sweet little lies. All right. And then he's just going to get. Uh, hey, he's going to feed you with sweet little lies. You know, showing you all the good it can do. It's minimally invasive. The surgery, you won't even feel it. You know, you'd be able to open up your doors. You know, I was uh at the job today and I was overhearing this, um, you know, this Edomites talking or whatever. And they were saying how, uh, they was talking about how in the future, which that's even scriptural, how it says that they end with thoughts that the house shall continue forever. But they were saying how in the future, kids won't even have to drive. They would just, you know, hop in a self-driving car. And this one uh, guy, he was saying how, which I was just, you know, listening, air hustling. He was just saying how he was working on this one job to where this guy, I don't know he if he had a Tesla. And um, instead of walking back to his car, he actually put, he actually was showing him on his phone how he had his car come to him. You know? And then, I don't know if he probably, I think one of them said that, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that, you know? Because... You know, somebody can hack that, hack your car while you're driving. You know, like that movie Upgrade. But nevertheless, Esau shows you all the good, um, the so-called good that something has for you, but never the bad. All right. You know, even hey, you look at um, <laughs> commercials, right? You know, you have a, a what's that um. Damn, what you call that pill? The Cialis or whatever. You know, a pill for men to get an erection or whatever. And then they'll say the side effects super fast. You know? So that's that's uh, the nature of this devil. But um, let's go back to Genesis 3 now, not to veer off too much. Genesis chapter 3. Verse 5. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, you know, hey, I heard they got, you know, they got certain chips to um, help you learn better, help you focus, you know. Help you with anxiety. All types of stuff. Right? So it says, and when the woman saw, I think I actually heard that on the radio. They was talking about that. How they was, you know, talking about the benefits of, I might have saw the video. Anyway, the point is that they was, uh, I, I heard something to what he's talking about, you know, a chip to, you know, put you in a good mood, keep you in a good mood, you know. Take away stress and anxiety and all that. You know, so it says in a tree to be desired to make one wise. You know, which that tree was ultimately just representing wisdom. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open. And they knew that they were naked. It's like it. The tree actually represents um the other nations. The trees are, are these other nations. I actually wrote that down. Let me see. And the fruit is knowledge. Okay, the fruit is knowledge and the trees are these other nations. What did I write that down now? Okay, yeah, as you see, Jeremiah 11 and 16 or Ezekiel 31. Okay. It says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye shall eat, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. 
And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant for the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, you know, basically dabbling into the, the you know, the knowledge of these other nations, what they be into, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. Okay? Which naked just means that, you know, they were they were without um the proper understanding. As a matter of fact, let me see, I think that's in Revelations. Sixteen and fifteen, behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. All right, watch and keep your garments, meaning keep your mind. All right, lest you walk naked. All right, you be like a fool, and they see his shame. All right. You know, so they was basically without understanding, you know, under every winded doctor, just as just as Jake is today, walking naked. Who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree? You know, you can just imagine, you ain't gluing about all the knowledge they got. You know, y'all shout the Lord's like, he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree? Well, have I commanded thee that thou shalt not eat? And the man said, the woman, you know, so <laughs> he said, fuck that, you know, I'm, 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 I got a uh, cop out for that. And the man said, which is Adam, the woman whom thou gavest to, to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me and I did eat. And the Lord said, unto the serpent because thou has done this thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field upon thy belly shalt thou go and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life you see and this also proves that the serpent was actually a man because for one a serpent was is always on his belly all right. And um, it says upon thy belly, thou shalt go. Meaning what? According to Obadiah, they are the lowest among the heathen. And thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. You know, constantly in confusion, like it says in the book of Jude. All right. The years of uh, uh, are heading to the oppressor. You know, um, the scripture say there's no peace to the wicked. All right. So basically, all the days of their life, they're going to be living in misery and confusion. All right. Nobody's going to want to be around them. And thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. You know, constantly living in lies. You know. So they basically, the Lord put the Lord is, is putting curses out. You know, the Lord is cursing, cursing them out. The serpent, Adam and Eve. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. You know? And there's always constantly what? Wars between Jacob and Esau. You know? Esau's, Esau's Edom. You know, the so-called white men. You know? And, um... You know, one is always fighting against the, uh, the other. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. You know. And it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception 
In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. All right, not self-explanatory. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So even the Lord was like, nah, you you ain't doing things right. You, you He's going to have to be over you. All right, because the man, the Lord created a man to have a strong mind. As it is also written, I believe in Peter's, that a man should, uh, you know, deal with his woman as the weaker vessel. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. You know? So, hey, it curses. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. And the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for thus thou art, and into dust shalt thou return. I believe the scriptures in the Apocrypha speaks about um because Adam went off. That also, yeah, there's a scripture in the Apocrypha that speaks about because Adam went off. That also shortened the, the lifespan of man. All right, so the Most High is very rough. Um, when you turn it, when you turn aside from His instructions to follow, um, Satan, you know, to follow this this so-called white man. All right, so the Lord. Which that leads me to Revelations 14 and 9. Okay. So it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, okay, which the beast is speaking of the fourth beast, which is written of in Daniel's, I want to, yeah, Daniel's 2 and Daniel 7, all right, um, talking about the Roman Empire, and then the Roman Empire dying and coming back as, as America, and his image, all right, all the stuff he stood for, was, which was wickedness, all right, everything against the Heavenly Father, idolatry, witchcraft, and receive his mark in his forehead, you know, dibbling and dabbling, you know, thinking it's cool to be a homo. Or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. You know, and all the way from thousands, thousands of years ago, women are still, you know, having to get the epidurals and, you know, having to take drugs because it's so painful to conceive a child. You know, Jake is still getting shot down by none other than the so-called white man. Why? Because those curses is, is, has felt for a long time. And the smoke of their torment has sent it up forever and ever. Meaning this place is going to be a memorial, you know, for a really, really, really long time. It's, in fact, it's not going to be inhabited again, you know, just as a sign for those that didn't follow the Lord. All right. As a sign of what happens when you don't follow the Heavenly Father and they have no rest, they no night. Who worship the beast in his image, whosoever received the mark of his name. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God in the faith of Yahweh Shai. Okay. So, moral of the story is better to stay with your first love. Than to follow Esau's wickedness. So with that, Shalom to the elect.